There's one. It's a giant. That is exactly what we're looking for. Giant river smallmouth. Yikes. These are the ones that'll get you. I tagged it like something vicious. My God. Both hooks. Got the front one in his mouth. Bottom one in his everywhere. Easy. Oh my god. We're about four miles down the river now. I mean, I, he somehow got the back troubles. He got like two out of the three, like all just up in his business. And he had all three of the front hooks in his mouth. Woo! A little better fish this time. Not real big. <laughs> he came up and smashed that popper right on that current seam. Ooh. We gotta keep our foot on the trolling bar, otherwise we'll be a mile down the river by the time we get him unhooked here. So but you can see he, uh, he got both hooks and he definitely wanted it. go. Nice little chunker. We'll probably catch some bigger ones, but not too bad. There's another one. Better. They're holding right tight to this current seam. You get your bait right down there and they almost get pounded every time it seems like. And they pull in this current. See there, I go in the right direction. Nice long, a little bit skinny, but uh, still a nice fish. Another one. Little guy, little tiny one. Not a giant, but when you're catching them on top water, still pretty fun. Camera guy feverishly trying to get his bait in there, but he is having trouble casting. He just wrapped the bait around my leg, as you can see. Ah, I lost him. But uh, switched to the walking bait, the Ema skimmer, just to see if they would be on that walking action. And it took only one cast to get a a good one to pile on it. 
It was a it was a good one. It was at least as big as the biggest one yet, if not bigger. There we go. Switched up. Went to a little square bill, uh, EMA square bill crankbait, so they didn't really seem like the last few fish came up and kind of just bumped or slapped at the top water didn't eat it. So I thought we'd bring the bait a little bit closer down to them. And it uh, didn't take but about three, four casts. Put another smallmouth in the boat. That one was right up against the bluff. Probably trying to take advantage of a little eddy and just waiting for a shad like this to come by and it smoked it. It's like a giant buffet. They just sit in these little rocks and wait for the food to come to them. Oh, one smacked it right on the surface there when I was trying to wiggle it off a branch. Back to back casts on the square bill. <coughs> it's kind of tricky fighting them in this current because uh, if I try to get down and really like lip them, the uh, you know we'll be a quarter mile down the uh, the way before you know it. So luckily they've been eating it pretty good, and we've been able to boat flip them all, which makes me be able to keep my foot on the trolling motor and keep fishing. Nice little chunky fat fish. Looks a little bit like the cameraman. Uh -oh. Whoa! What? 